Hey there, millionaire. Let me ask you something. What would you do if you woke up tomorrow morning with $758 million to your name? Although few people are lucky enough to have such a gigantic fortune in an immediate period, the probability of becoming a lottery winner is always present, as long as you take your chances and play. However, being blessed with such a big fortune comes with a downside, and if you don't want to become a victim of criminals, you must be ready to accept the consequences. In this video, we're going to show you the incredible story of Mavis Wanchik, who became one of the richest people in the United States, the very Every day, her safety and sanity began to be compromised. So pay attention, because this is a story you really want to learn from, so you can avoid the same mistakes for when you hit the jackpot or become an overnight millionaire. Before she became a millionaire, Mavis Wanchik was a woman like any other. She used to work at Mercy Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. After dedicating herself to patient care for 32 years, she immediately quit her job after her big win. Something all of us would probably do if we were lucky as she was after winning a $758 million jackpot in August 2017. Fun fact. After dating for 15 years, Mavis's ex-partner, Richard Lord, broke up with her just a year before hitting the jackpot for three quarters of a billion dollars. It's quite interesting since Richard was later asked why he never proposed to Mavis if they had been together for 15 years. His answer is somewhat ironic. He said he never proposed because his last marriage left him completely broke with barely enough money to eat, so he was in no hurry to get married again. I wonder what went through his mind after he heard that his ex, the woman who could have been his wife, now had $758 million to her name. Surely his financial problems would have gone away, but I guess we'll never know how it would have been. This is about to get quite crazy, so keep watching. Let's go back to Mavis now. Mavis was a resident of Chicopee, a town in Hamden County, Massachusetts, before her great leap to fame and wealth. There, she lived modestly in a two-bedroom apartment on a top floor of a renovated family home. But when her identity was revealed to the public, things spiraled out of control. Soon after obtaining her fortune, the neighborhood where she resided began to fill up with strange people looking for her that possibly had no good intentions. The police also began to receive strange reports of people going door to door asking where Mavis lived, creating a completely stressful situation for her and her family. Mavis was forced to move to another place and become very cautious about every move. She now had to find the best ways to not leave a trace so she could go back to living a peaceful life and not have to be on the run trying to get away from people who just wanted to take advantage of her. Imagine if your face became public after winning $758 million in the lottery and now random people are looking for you all over the place. There would be no corner of the earth to hide in. What would you do? What actions would you take if you suddenly won that much money and had to go public? Let us know in the comments below. Now let's move on. As you can imagine, the huge wave of strangers that started stalking Mavis was just the first step of the great odyssey this woman faced. And it was just the tip of the iceberg. People began to create fake accounts on social networks to impersonate the millionaire and promise money to her followers in exchange for personal information and sensitive personal data. In other words, she did not find peace in the real world, but neither did she on the internet. Today, dozens of fake Mavis accounts remain active on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and similar platforms, looking to scam new innocents. Although her winnings came five years ago, people still fall for it today. So here's a quick lesson. If you ever come across someone promising you free money online, report that account as soon as possible. This will help prevent these scammers from harming you and others. Mavis's name and image have been used for sowing disaster from completely bogus fictionist foundations to email phishing scams and other dishonest practices. Now, let's say something important that will help you avoid falling victim to this because you don't have to be as big as Mavis to get targeted or for scammers to target your audience. You who are smart enough to be a subscriber to this channel may have seen this around in our comment sections. Many people have been trying to scam subscribers with fake accounts, promising investment strategies or quick ways to make money. Believe me, no person would divulge their professional secrets openly. We do our best to block them, but they always find new ways to impersonate us or other channels. At Millionaire Post, we will never ask you for your personal information or promise you money-making schemes or magical investments. So stay safe and don't let anyone cheat you. Back to Mavis. Despite all this bad news that may seem that the millionaire's life was a tragedy, the truth is that Mavis Wanchik has done quite well in recent years. In one of her last interviews, she states that she is just looking to relax and enjoy her money. After maintaining a low-key lifestyle and fulfilling a dream she thought was seemingly impossible, Wanchik is now living the life everyone wishes for. Although she could have done some things better, 
We'll tell you what these are, so pay attention so you don't make the same mistakes. Like Wanchik, many other lottery winners do not foresee the consequences of becoming lottery winners. You can't expect to win $758 million and expect your life to stay the same. Neighbors will look at you differently. Your friends may begin to distance themselves, or even people you don't know will seek to get close to you and your newfound wealth. You need to be aware of your new situation and develop a plan of action. Many states won't allow you to remain anonymous after winning. However, you can create a trust and claim the prize under that trust. That way, you will somehow keep your identity unknown. Although Massachusetts law requires that identities of lottery winners be made public to prevent fraud, this is one way Wanchik could have resorted to protecting her identity. On the other hand, you also don't want to stay in the same neighborhood, living in the same house you've been in for 30 years while thousands of people find themselves looking for you. Because if the wrong person had found Mavis, the story could have ended much worse. And finally, the last and biggest mistake was not waiting for the hype to die down a bit. While we would all like to claim victory as soon as possible, it is important to use your head and calm down. You don't want your emotions taking over you and making erratic decisions. In Mavis's case, we're not talking about a million or 10 million, but 758 million, which will surely attract some eyeballs and make big news. In the end, how often do you see a $758 million jackpot winner? Appearing so quickly in the news caused her to receive more exposure than desired and therefore made everyone aware of her smallest moves. However, I don't think anyone can judge Mavis for this, as most of us would naturally react that way. Mavis Wanchik was not only one of the luckiest lottery winners in the history of the United States, but one of the wisest as she has not been seen wasting her money or starring in scandals. As we always said at Millionaire Post, you need to learn to control your emotions to be a successful millionaire. Whether it's the media, family, friends, or scammers, many will be looking to take their piece of your pie. That's why you must devise a strategy that allows you to learn to manage your money early on so that the day you win the lottery or build your fortune, you don't end up losing your money. Because you don't learn to manage a fortune when you have a million dollars, you develop those skills when you just have $10 in your wallet and then replicate them on a large scale. Learning how to manage money before becoming rich will save you a lot of time, money, and frustration. But I guess this is something you can only learn from experience.